We'll be in part by this is Rampain, and welcome back to my Athens campaign. We're going to continue where we left off from last time for Divide Imperia. Where right now, we are pushing in for our final push into Rome. As right now, we have been able to make a little bit of a landing in Taras for us. I'm going to keep trying to harass their coast a little bit more with my fleets here. As soon as you guys are able to replenish your forces. Also, I should be able to push into their northern reaches soon. Um, as soon as I can kind of get you guys replenished, deal with these forces around here, and I need to push back into... I'm going to actually try and get rid of you guys. Um, right now, you guys do not like me. I am trading with you. So if I want to cancel this and attack you, I should probably do it sooner rather than later. Or I can just leave you, honestly, and just not worry. Or just wait until they decide to attack me. Which I might be more partial to. Um, I thought this area didn't have... I, well, I thought this was the one that had the... Um, bronze but it actually wasn't the case so this will be the one that i'm actually going to be building up so i can get the weapon upgrades as we have the uh, armor ones which can we get to the gold armor upgrades just yet because that was way over here um you guys need the research right over here for us to get that so we're a bit of far away from that right now we've actually got quite a bit of increased research 429 percent nice that's actually pretty good um forces let's see you're still just trying to rank up I don't think we have anything else really to do with my agents right now. You guys are recovering. You guys, enemies of Fizzosi. You guys, I need to... I was like, can you guys move out of here just yet? It is happy. You are fully stocked on troops. I think you two... Well, actually, you'll stay here a little bit longer. Um, these guys, I think I can at least have you on the edge. And then just have you maybe just wait in uh, patrol region stance. I'll have you do that, and then you be nearby him in case someone wants to try and attack him. You at least need to sit here for a little bit longer to replenish. Um, I'm waiting a lot of my other armies to get over here until we guys have you properly push forward. Um, Centaur, yeah, you just took that. I think once winter's done, um, I do want you to push north. I kind of I want you to take this. But I shouldn't just piss them off. Um, what I think I'll do is, because it's either walk just straight through their lands, takes three turns, or I can walk up here, they'll take four turns. Um, let's just do that. Let's just walk on over to Yadr. You guys are a little unhappy here. This area should be okay, for the most part. I hope it is. And also we'll go into the other area that's connected to anyways. Because we'll send you guys up here. Basically I want to try and surround you guys, kill them off, and then you two can start trying to push your way into Patavium. Uh, you can try and make your way over there. And then I still have several armies down here trying to make their way on over to Africa. It's probably going to be a little while until you guys can properly push into Africa a little bit more. These areas have a bit of my population, but not a ton. Um, you guys, right now, let's see, who are you losing a lot of? A lot of the Barbarian. That's the main thing. This is the one we'll have to actually mainly use for punishing, so we'll have to make sure we get as many guys as possible. Um, primarily, technically, Kyrene. Kyrene... Oh yeah, primarily barbarian. So yeah, we'll build up the muster field around here specifically, because I believe this the bonus that it gives for the growth is only to the city it's in, and not uh, the surrounding regions. And so I need to make sure I get this built up here. Sp same with all of these buildings to try and get some more population growth around here specifically in Cyrene, so that we can have you guys keep replenishing. I'm gonna try and ignore you guys. See if you guys will leave me alone. Hopefully they will, because I really don't want to deal with them. And then I'll see. Is there anything else I want to build? Oh, you, I do need to build that. Just to keep reducing that empire maintenance. And that's all the money I've got. Ooh, you guys had an alliance break. Parthia did decide to declare war on one of my little client states I had on over here. Um, that was, which one was it again? Oh, guys, you guys actually pushed forward there. Um, oh, is this guy technically? Oh, that's actually not the one. Ah, oh, damn it. I wish I would have known which one that it was exactly. That's okay. As long as they're defending my eastern border, that's all that really matters. I can pretty much easily reclaim you guys if I really need to, because I do have these forces down here still. Uh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Um, you are waiting around over here. This area is actually fairly happy now that I can properly keep you in the city. So, you stay around here, watch over Trapezios. And then I can actually get quite a few upgrades. Like this right now here. Cost food. Gets a lot more money though. I'm honestly probably gonna grab that. Yeah, let's have you grab that. Cost 12,000 Jesus. 
Uh, maybe let's wait on that just a little bit. You guys are still trying to make your way on over here to make that second army. I want to have help defend around here. Um, you guys are at war. I don't care about that. I do care about these storage rooms in case I need to upgrade them further. I can. Let's upgrade that. We also had this healer and another one in Tarsos is also available to upgrade. Uh, you guys... Uh, no, that's as that's good as it is. And then it was Tarsos they set up here. So you guys also have a one there you can grab. You guys at least make me a little bit of money now around here. Um, let's see, unseasoned conditions I never care about because usually it doesn't affect me too much. Um, Satrapy declares... In oh, nice! That's actually uh, even better. I thought it was just a normal alliance break. No, it's, that's better. Okay. So then, agents, you, again, my man, try and see, are you able to prevent or start a ra uh, raid? Or a revolt? Come on, because it's supposed to have an instant chance at some point. They're very upset. Oh, wait, did it? Did it actually start one? Because usually they have the uh, plus 20 if there's a rebellion going on. So I might have started a rebellion there. Ooh, I'm going to hope so. I'm going to really hope so. Um, let's see, you guys are all fine around here, just still trying to steal food. You're still trying to scout out around here. More than likely, I will ignore these guys. But still good to have at least one spy around there. All of you guys are fine as is. I do need to double check my loyalty. Need to keep in this in mind at all times. Because politics right now, um, you guys, I can do secure loyalty again. You guys, well, not with you guys at least. You guys are at least decently happy. Are there any... I can send you on out as a diplomat again. That is by far one of the best things I can do to make sure you guys still like me. So, like, uh, this guy just ended his thing with me, but he's uh, not that bad. I will probably have it so we'll go with you guys. Send you as a diplomat out there. That gives us a nice little bit of loyalty boost, so let's have you do that. Um, this guy, I can't do that with him right now. Uh, do I have any gifts I can give? Yes, I can send a gift. I'm going to send a gift to you. At least one. Because that will get us from 13 to 15. At least something. I uh, just want to try and keep you guys in the positives as much as possible. And it does cost some money. So we'll have to actually be careful about that. Armies. Let's see. You guys. Okay, are you guys fully replenished? Uh, almost. Do you guys have reduced up uh, replenishment when you're like this? No. Not specifically. Okay, um, I don't see... Well, do they have... There's no Rome trade around here. But I would like to actually send you guys down towards Syracuse. Uh, or if anything, you know, these are both on board of the ocean. Um, let us... Because uh, I want you guys to keep replenishing. If I take you out of Radiant Stance, you still replenish. Because what I want to kind of do is bring you guys down this way. Try and have you guys hit Syracuse. You guys still replenishing right there? Yes, you are. Okay. You guys still have uh, supplies as well. Yeah, four turns of supplies. Okay. We'll try and take Syracuse. Syracuse I'll actually try and take myself, as this is an area that I actually want to control. Um, any coastal cities are still the main thing I want to control myself. You're still waiting for replenishment there. You guys... Okay, so this army here I can very easily get rid of. You guys here... Okay, you can get out of there. This guy's going to get away. But I can at least get rid of this army. Although, they might run away. Are you going to run away? Yeah, they run away, and then they're nearby their allies now. Okay, so what we're going to do... Sit here. Let's put in, uh, sit up in fortify stands there, and wait for you guys to get there as reinforcements. That way I can make sure I uh, surround them and destroy them all. This army, I do want to wait. Because, again, you need to replenish a little bit more... Gods of War, you're going to be waiting over there. Gorgon's Gaze, you're trying to make your way on over here. It's going to take you a little while. So keep making your way over here. Uh, you actually have a rank up with this uh, dude in here. So let's have you... That Yeah, more movement range would be nice. 10% more movement range? Damn right. So except that, um, you guys here, I do need to adjust you. And have you guys move around. Because you're trying to also make your way over here. Because I've got, like, what, two, one, two, three, four. I think I've got, like, six armies making their way over here. At least five. As you're also trying to make your way on over here. 
boom, boom. So I've got at least five armies. Keep moving over there, and then I need to make sure I remember to put you guys into patrol stance after you're done moving, because it gives us a little bit more money and makes sure that the area that we're in is just a little bit happier as well. So you guys move there, and then is that everybody? Because, like, you guys, you're waiting, but I think you can assault on your own. I don't think I need that second army right now, because I don't see anything around here. I'm going to absolutely destroy these guys here. Uh, let's do a balance stance to save as many of our men as possible. And then this is an area that I do want to occupy as it's on the coast. So keep kind of pushing into Africa. Um, this area here, ooh. Probably going to want to build that up in myself. Um, just to make it so it is easier for us to replenish forces around here, I probably do want to have that. So let's try to convert that on over. Don't have enough money for anything else, that's fine. Um, this one's okay as it is, at least. And then you kind of wait for everybody else to get on over here. We'll kind of start building this area on up. Honestly, man, I'm kind of realizing now how close I am to finishing this campaign. I could finish it sooner than I, intend I expected to depending on how things go right now. Because all my forces are pushing on in. We primarily need to push into Africa and Italy itself. Which should not be that difficult, actually. Um, I just want to do resistance to foreign occupation. Actually, for right now, that would not be bad. But also, I can just get more shots per minute. And then you guys here... Actually, okay, get one more at least upgrade there. Yeah, just do that. Reduced uh, resistance to foreign occupation for the expansion. Which actually isn't that much. Cultural differences are the main thing. Which I will probably want to try and get rid of one of these buildings and get a temple there at some point. It's going to take a little bit for that. But all of you guys are... Oh, you're not moving. You have not moved up yet. So I actually have six armies. So I do have six. So you keep making your way on up this way. Yeah, it's not going to take me long to push into Africa with how many armies I've got down here. Mainly my main concern around here is just making sure that the area is actually happy. And also up here, I have to make sure that we're not going to be attacked on our eastern flank. As I've got a lot of client states around here. Occasionally it feels like I have to strike at the enemy to make sure that you guys remain strong around here. But for the most part, you guys are doing fairly well defending our eastern borders around here. Oh, you poor bastards. So you're deciding to attack me while I'm in a fortified position. You have quite a few good units around here, but I think we should have the advantage. I am fortified. We do have quite a few barricades and support uh, support systems for this. Also 10% more melee defense skill. That's nice. That's nice. So bring it on, Rome. Because as soon as I defeat these forces here, I'll actually have a pretty clear uh, path into northern Italy. So I can have these two go up that way. And... I'm hoping most of their forces are over in Iberia, as I thought they did have a lot of guys over there. So it might be pretty easy for us to just walk on in into northern Italy. Don't even have to do what Hannibal did in going through the actual Alps themselves. We can just push straight in after they've weakened their presence themselves. So right now here, um, I don't... Their, their forces should be kind of coming from technically, I would think... Like, directly behind where their allies are. Um, and so right now, it's kind of thinking that the the main enemy reinforcements... Well, the main force will be here, because... Reinforcing-wise, their forces are kind of coming from the southwest. So the main force might actually be over here. Because this force here, I should be able to actually destroy with just my cav. So what I'll probably have you guys do, is you'll stand outside. I think I'm going to set up most of my defenses for here and here. Because that's where I'm kind of expecting their main, the reinforcements to come. The main, the army attacking me should be coming from right here, but the re main reinforcing army should be from over here. Yeah. So let me get my guys set on up. There we go. So I think that will work. Uh, Caltrops, Caltrops. My general is sadly the one that has to sit back here, as he is my only infantry unit I have left besides my hoplites, my pikesmen here. Also, how do these units look? Because this is the first time I get to see these guys specifically. As these are some of my best pikes that I've got. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, now hopefully, again, I think you guys should be able to deal with the reinforcements almost entirely on your own, as they're just a bunch of skirmishers and like one cav unit. And so, let's see, these are all shot cav. 
Looks like you guys kind of spread out a little bit. Enemy reinforcements approaching. I think you guys kind of hold way back here. Uh, enemy reinforcements are actually coming from over here. That's not what I wanted, actually. Okay, so I'll have to actually adjust. Uh, I'll have to actually put you guys here instead. And then I'll put these guys over here. That cab unit's rushing straight on them. Which, if I can actually... Uh, actually, stay here for a second. Stay for a second. You just try and get this guy shot at by towers. These guys, I'll have enough time to adjust them. They're really far away. I need to focus all my attention on you guys right now. Get rid of these guys. They should be shot up by the towers. There we go. You guys get rid of these units here. And then this unit, just stay away from them. Just don't get into melee. Uh, you guys are kind of slow. Come on, get out of there. Come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. You are not going to win that fight. You're a shot cab, not a melee cab. Oh, that's not good. Get out of there. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, because you guys are doing wonderfully here. It's just this unit right here is kicking my ass. My guys are spread out and being destroyed there. Oh, come on, get out of there. Keep running away. Okay, because that unit's at least dead. These guys have kicked my ass so far. Get on over there and try and help, please. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Thanks for destroying the barricade, dude. I needed that. I'm trying to get you guys out of here. The towers are firing. Okay, there goes my guys. Flee the field of battle. Okay, I need to at least have one of you guys kind of run over here. Now that we're trying to fight this unit. You guys charge there. And then these guys right about here. Oh, the enemy general's already here. Fuck. Um, I did not have time to move you guys yet. Okay, because I'll have you guys start making your way over here. There. Uh, what are you doing? You Our should be winning that unit. Attack. You guys try and make your way on over here. Oh, they are actually trying to just focus on my general there. Go there, there, and... There. Uh, the other one actually needs to adjust. To everyone I sent first. Yeah, you. Adjust there. That unit's being shot. Okay, that's good. Leave him beating for now. Unless he's going to come back around. No, he's not. Okay, you guys just kind of watch over this position. These guys just need to turn around over here. And then I do need to get my general over to the other side. So I'm going to try and have him defend this spot. So let's have you kind of run on over there. You guys then adjust and take position here. And here. And then I need to get my cab over here. They've got a lot of skirmishers right here. So let's try and break you guys. They actually have a lot of skirmishers in general. Yeah, they don't have a lot of infantry. Okay, that actually should make this pretty easy then. Because all these skirmishers are isolated away. So we can very easily destroy them with my cab. So let's have you guys, as soon as we get around the boulder. Like, you go there. The enemy general is dead. Nice. I don't know if that's the, ma the first one or the second one, but they're just dying. Uh, you guys kind of reform, please. Same with you. Reform there. Cav are doing their thing. See, those guys are breaking. Good. Yeah, shatter that unit there. Let's see if you guys kind of turn around and focus this unit. You go there. I need to get over here. Because this area, I actually have skirmishers. This area, they're kind of out of range right now. Come on, keep charging. Yeah, break that unit there. Get over here. You guys also make your way on over here as well. Stay away from that infantry. Let's kind of get away from them for now. Kind of let them reposition themselves, and then I will uh, come back in in a second. Oh, the cab I have in this army are not the best. Another one of my guys got stuck, and they broke. Um, I'm trying to have you guys break these skirmishers here, and then I'm thinking, um, you guys... Yeah, you. Make your way over here. You make your way over here. I'm going to have you guys flank around right now, as these guys are trying to focus us down. I can... Oh, they're being shot at in the back there. Yeah, I need to get rid of you. That's why this unit's taking so much damage. So if you guys can get rid of them and them, these guys should be pretty safe. Try and if you guys run around here, try and flank. Because as soon as these guys break, I can surround these guys, as most of their army is stuck right around here. Doing fairly well on this side, at least. Okay, Cav, last kit, uh, skirmisher they've got. And then all their units are here. You guys are out of ammo, so I'll have you guys kind of run around this way, too. There we go, Peltis, get on in here. 
Should be- Are you shooting my own men with the arrow towers now, guys? Please don't. Please don't. Because these guys right here should break soon. There's one guy already. Break these guys, and then we can get you in to... Yeah, focus on one specifically. Then I can try and have you guys help on out over here. My slingers are kind of firing still. A little bit. You guys are kind of slow. Some of these guys are kind of struggling a little bit. Bring my general on over here to try and have him use his abilities. Wait, does this seriously have 300 dudes in it? Wait, what? Oh my god. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That is a beefy fucking boy. Oh my god. That's not fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, General, get on over here. This one isn't even fighting us here. I'm gonna get you guys out of here as I need some support here. This area is not doing so hot. That unit is taking so long to die. Oh my god. Yeah, General, um, start rallying and supporting them. I don't like what you guys are doing there. Please stop that. Can you guys shoot them, please? General, actually get over here and help there. You guys try and, uh, line up over here and support them. You need to make sure they don't take this tower out, as, uh, they're vital for my defense right now. That unit's taking so long to die. Wow, this is an overpowered unit. Flee the field of battle. I can see if they had an entire army of those guys, that would be difficult to deal with. Okay, Cap, I was kind of waiting for you guys to see if you could get some reinforcements from these dudes. But, right now, it's more important for me to make sure you guys hold here. Oh, they are breaking through. I don't like that. These guys are breaking a bit. You guys aren't really fighting this unit, so I think I can try and get you to help out over here to make sure they don't break through. It's like you guys and you guys. Oh, you're really beat up. Okay, get on over there. General, try and help out here. You guys pull out of there. Cab, you need to pull out. Keep cycle charging in here now. This unit has only lost like 50 guys since I started fighting. Jesus, this thing is just shredding through my guys. It's lost half of its unit and still holding. Uh, I'm bringing my general on over here to try and help out with you guys. As these guys are all breaking at the moment. You guys are trying to continuously charge in here. You've actually got quite a few kills right now. You've gotten uh, almost 500 kills charging in and out of here. These guys should break. Most of them are red. I think they just need a good... Oh... I see a lot of uh, wavering, but part of it's me. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, General, get on over here. This dude's a beast, my, my god. He's got to be getting to the point where he's about to break, though. Seeing where he's at. I actually think the auto is actually pretty accurate in how this is going. These guys are struggling to beat the Romans. Like, the Romans are doing a lot of goddamn damage. Do they have another one of those units over here? No, another one of the guys with 300. No, thankfully they do not. Hey, General, just kind of wait for this guy. I want him to be shot at it by the towers as much as possible. Uh, you guys didn't get a really good charge there. They just need a little bit more, and I think these guys will break. I think if I take this unit out, because I'm assuming this guy actually gives um, morale to his allies. So as soon as he dies, I think they might break. Because a lot of these guys are in the yellow. Just need to get a good charge around here and maybe break them? It's like, you guys are trying, you're fighting. Uh, you guys are just waiting in support, in, in a supporting position. There! This guy's finally breaking! And now everybody else did too! That one unit over there! Holy shit, that thing did a lot of damage. I'm wondering if I can see its amount. I should be able to see how many kills it got. Because that guy, man, he was a tough nut to crack. He was holding that entire army together. Because I'm, I'm assuming, I believe, because I haven't played Roman uh, Divide Imperia just yet, um, that it's one of the units that decides to give a, uh, it has a, the, the, like, the Roman standard. And uh, as long as they're alive, um, they provide a morale boost to the units nearby them, which that was doing really well. I actually lost a lot of guys for that. I lost about almost half my army to still win that. Like, not gonna, get, not gonna lie, that was actually a little bit closer than I would have liked. I thought the auto was always being stupid, trying to say, oh yeah, you're gonna die, I'm not considering your fort. But, uh, no. I think it was actually pretty accurate, where uh, we lost quite a few guys. I think, if I remember correctly, um, in more recent Total Wars, the balance of power actually more so represents how many casualties it thinks you will be inflicted upon you. Um, so it's still technically possible to win. 
but it kind of represents more of the casualties inflicted as opposed to just how well your actual odds of winning are, which is a little awkward at times. But I was able to still deal a decent amount of damage to you guys. Like, I want to see. Oh, no, I can't see. Kills on... Because, did I kill that entire unit? I'm hoping I did. Yeah, it was this one. Total men killed or captured, 348. Jesus. That guy did a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to enslave the captives. Again, we can't be too nice to Rome. But no, you guys will then have to just kind of probably sit there for at least a turn, probably, to get some more reinforcements. Um, these guys, uh, next to the otter, they can finish them off. And then together, might need to wait a turn or two, but you guys can push into uh, the northern section. Oh, they're going there. Northern sections of Rome. Let's see, a need for cavalry. Um, honestly, neither of these really matter. I'll just say cavalry training. Um, let's see, political intrigue. Your plan has betrayed you. Troop around. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. I hate you guys keep failing there. Um, and so you guys, are you punishing yet? Battle. No. Because around this area right now... Mm, it's going up slowly. This does give us a little bit of everything, so I'm going to make sure I want to upgrade you guys. Also, it gives a shit ton of public order. So let's have you guys grab that, kind of try and help grow this area a little bit faster. Uh, ooh, I finished a lot of things. You guys finish something around here. Um, I need to get this for the Empire Maintenance Reduction. And then I have no more money. Because um, this would actually be nice to upgrade you. Like, I'm making a decent amount of cash right now, but not a ton. Not enough to do all the upgrades I want with uh, the levels that these guys are at now at this point. You guys... Oh, I fucking forgot to do this. It's, 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 it's fine. You guys are okay for now. We're still waiting on reinforcements anyways, for the most part, down around here, so we can kind of hold on to that. So you guys are now refined. Don't know exactly what that dude does for you, exactly. And then hidden agent exposed. Okay. Let's go back on over here. I, am I think you guys are having a rebellion right now. Can I not look at that? Wish I could see that, because it looks like you guys might have a rebellion going on right now. Can I see an army maybe around here? Oh, there's some rebels there. Yeah, because this is the same area. Ooh. Nice. Um, let's actually have you try doing it on this side here. Just keep trying to incite ri uh, riots and rally the slaves to our cause. We can actually kind of harass and deal with Rome a little bit over here through proxy wars. Which is exactly what I've been wanting to do this entire campaign. I actually have a lot of fun right now with specifically not focusing on having to conquer everything myself. Um, instead, have I, I am working with my eyes. Maybe not the exact initial idea I thought I was going to be trying for with this campaign. I had a little bit too many high hopes for uh, my AI allies where they might actually know what the fuck to do and might actually attack. No, that was, that was wishful thinking. But... They are fairly useful in the fact that um, I can actually do other things to attack my enemies. I can have it so that I'm inciting riots over here in Iberia, so Rome has to deal with this crap. I can have my uh, proxy allies just guard my borders for me, so I don't have to worry so much about defending every little bit of land I have. And then I just focus on taking the really wealthy regions and the coastal settlements that I actually can easily defend with ships, and it works out wonderfully. I love it. Armies, because let's see, I think you guys here, because I want to keep having you do the same thing. I'm going to have you probably get to rank five? Yeah, I think five before I decide to have you do anything outside this area. Um, fleets, you guys are trying to get down, and let's have it so, let's see, I'll have it so you're the one, actually, I want you, it doesn't matter who does the actual assault, or who's blockading. I'll have you blockade. I'll wait for a couple turns, so just kind of maintain that blockade for now. I'm going to hope you guys decide to try and send, uh, send you guys out of here to try and attack me. So I can just sink all of you and take Syracuse. That's going to be my hope, at least. I don't think it's going to really work all too well. And then I'm honestly kind of hoping you guys decide to try and attack some stuff around here. Because these areas, I'll have to have to get another little army around here to try and uh, take you guys out and make you into client states. Um, around here, at least. The remnants of this force. Probably going to run. Victory! Yep. Um, I can get to you, though. 
It's gonna go right there. And then you... Oh, you actually did lose a cav unit, too. Um, I can't get any mercenary cav. I don't have enough money, but I can get a cab unit around here. Um, I'll have you wait. I'm actually able to get enough money out of this. So we'll execute these guys. Uh, just go with Bounced. Bounced Stance, and then I'll have it so you guys... Uh, yeah, it's a little enslaved. Is that just enough for you? Yes. Um, I will grab... Probably you. Because this even costs almost 2300 I don't have enough for that. You guys do have more armor, but they don't have the javelin component, which is nice. I'll just grab you. Grab one of those guys, and then I'll have it so that you guys will be pushing in next turn, ideally. You guys do have a decent amount of... Yeah, you'll, you should be fully your punish by them. Um, you guys don't have enough... Mu oh, shit. I need to make, I don't, make sure this doesn't become a slum. It's gonna become a slum. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, what am I even? Oh yeah, because I need to get this. Yeah, because I can get the copper mine, and then I can get the weapon upgrades right here. Yeah, because that is the uh, the master weaponsmith. That's what I want to get. If I can get that and have both of them be uh, the gold level level three, seven percent increase is not bad. <laughs> this is gonna turn into a slum next turn, though I know. Um, or do I have any other armies that need to move about? You're just waiting, because you need to replenish a little bit. These guys, same thing. You're just waiting around here to defend us. And then I think I actually did already move all the armies down here, because I've already moved you three. Uh, this guy hasn't moved. So I need to keep moving you along this way as well. Because I've got those three armies at least, and then I've got this guy, so there's the four. Yeah, we'll have six armies down here. So it should be pretty easy, easy for us to all push all the way up to Carthage. Um, as soon as I get to this area, we'll kind of just hold it. I'll probably push in over to at least Eol and try and turn that into a client state ally. That way I can have my western border defended for us. And then I shouldn't have to worry about uh, Rome making a counterattack. Yep, they turned into slums. That's what I thought. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I need to make sure I have money for that. Because now I'll have to just demolish this and then next turn it. So I have to make sure I have the money next turn for that. Um, that's... Okay, you guys are good to push out then there. Ooh, legend. Is that the guy up north? No, actually, it's you. Yeah, because let's have you... Actually, let's go to a different spot. Um, let's see. This area is attached to... Yeah, let's try and go over to the west a little bit. Yeah, it's over here. This is a different area. So let's have you rally the slaves here. Yeah! They don't have a rebellion going on just yet, but maybe. Because I'm hoping you guys will actually be able to build yourselves up enough that you can actually maybe take a city. That'd be great, because right now I need to just try and harass uh, Rome as much as possible. Um, let's remember to actually convert these areas over here, so let's have you guys go. So, market. I kind of don't want fourth class citizens. Um, agriculture is always a good one. Farming town is always a good one. You here, I would say... much food around here? I don't have much food around here. Let's have you become the fishmonger. Become the fishmonger there. You guys still waiting on replenishment. Um, let's grab this upgrade to have that growth be a little bit faster. And then you guys need to keep making your way on over this way. So you, you, and you. I kind of wish I could just have these guys immediately, like, move. Uh, not have to take continuously take them out of the stance then move them. Slightly annoying, but I think that's just a limitation with Rome 2 specifically. Yeah, because you guys can just keep patrolling the region, just to make sure these areas are happier, and that we just keep making more money. Because, th okay, these areas are actually already maxed out. But still, every saving money when we can is great for us. So there we go. So that is almost all the armies around here, because there's still this one guy as well. You guys are at least making a lot more progress over this way as opposed to bringing you down from uh, Asia Minor and whatnot. So you guys go there. And then what I need to do is, you're still watching over here, you're good, but this force is ready. I can start trying to have you grab some more dudes. 
So let's have you grab... Oh, can I get that one? Oh, I can't get that special one. Okay, grab a bunch of these guys. Oh, I only have enough for two. Do these seriously cost? Oh. No. I thought it said they were costing like 3600 per. No, thankfully. Okay. So now... Um, oh, you, that's where your army is. Okay, so you guys here. Uh, we were just about to enter into... If I push now, I can get to about here, but I will take attrition because we're gonna we're gonna be in the middle of uh, winter. I don't think I'll actually be able to get to the city. Um, I think I should still push. So let's kind of go to about here. Oh hi. Um. Go into fortify stance. Get the fortifications ready. And then you can't get to him. Go here. And also go into fortify stance. Get the stakes up. We hunger I'm gonna hope you guys don't attack me. As I... I should still be okay. But I want to minimize casualties. And honestly, I probably should have just waited. I should have just waited until winter was done with. Then push you guys forward. Um, does anybody else have anything to do? Because you guys here, um, I have two turns. I want to kind of give you guys two turns until I decide to do something. Because I will have to, well, actually maybe just one more turn, see if they'll do anything. I could try and just, uh, if I pull you away, have you far enough back that you can't reinforce me? Will they then try and attack us? Because if I can destroy this entire army that's inside the city, which I can with you guys... That will be much better for us. So I'll try and have it so you guys pull back for a turn. Really want to instigate them into attacking me now. Because otherwise next turn I'll probably want to pull back and maybe just start, go start going to get some supplies. So we'll give them the one turn at least to try. Um, you guys... Um, you're almost fully replenished there. So I can probably have you guys push up soon. As this army at least... You've already moved, sorry. Um, you know, do you have movements? No, no you don't. Yeah, because next turn, you two can keep moving forward together. This area is actually pretty happy already because of this building here. So that's not going to be the main issue for us pushing into this area. Does anybody else have anything to do? No, because you guys are just chilling there, and I'm fairly certain I've already moved everybody else that has... Yeah, everybody else has already moved. I don't want to forget about these little bastards. You guys are pissed. You guys are pissed. Um, let's see if I can do another diplomatic mission with you guys. I can't with you. I can with you. So let's have you go right here. Send you over to those guys. And then... Can I give you a gift? No. Because what else can I do? Uh, I don't think you have any actual actions yourself. Is that minus? Yeah, it's minus. Yeah, because I just can't select you with it. Um, right now, it's a 1% chance. A next turn, I'll have enough money that I probably can do this. Yeah, I just don't have enough money. So we can do that next turn. We should be okay. Um, you're the one that is at risk of succession. Let me remind myself which one you are again. No, not that. Political party affiliation. Um, that was the Atatus. Atlas. Uh, again, it looks like it's you guys. I'm assuming it's because you guys have really wealthy regions up there. Yeah. I really need to keep you guys away. It should be okay for this turn, but next turn I have to make sure I try and get you guys up as much as I can with public, uh, loyalty. Man, you guys love taking this bait. Okay, so I do have fortifications once again. Um, do you have another one of those units? Uh, you do. So you have one of those guys. I almost wonder if I should try and focus him down this time. So Cohorse Aquile. I believe that was the one that had the 300 units and was giving him a morale bonus, I believe. Um, so if I think if I focus him down first, might have a better chance around here to easily kill them off. Because last time, that guy held way too long. Way too long. 
At least this army, I have a couple more infantry units, less pikemen, but some pretty good infantry units to try and help hold. Uh, because I've got more uh, javelin men this time. I've got yeah, five pikes. There's only the one army, at least, so I know for you guys, like, they should be attacking me from right here, so I'll have to mainly defend this section right here. So I'll probably have it so that maybe one of you guys at, at each other section, most of my units here, Cav will be outside, and we'll try and uh, harass you guys as much as we can. Well, actually, let's, let's wait on that. I'll wait until they're all in position, then start harassing them. But let me get my fortification set up. Okay, so this, I think, should do. Start the battle there. We're going to have to wait for them to make our way on over I'm here. You guys are a little... Now you're, you're kind of working. A little bit. Okay. So the main thing we need to do is focus on the general. Let me check and see if I can find that one unit. You'd think it'd be really easy to find when they have 300 guys in it. Yeah, here he is. So I believe you're the man of the hour that we need to focus down. Otherwise, they're going to have a lot of morale. So I'll focus you guys down primarily after we can take out their general, which the general honestly probably going to throw his life away just straight at us immediately. Uh, I'm so glad that you guys decided to s send your cav up for it first. Especially since I've got these caltrops here. One of our units has used all so there's ammunition. one guy already dead. General comes in here next. You guys are holding with the barricade. Good. Keep focusing those guys down. I still don't see that one other unit yet. He's in the way back. And a lot of my pelters are already out of ammo. Cat, their cab is getting slaughtered. These guys are taking a decent amount of damage as well. Uh, I might actually have you guys hold fire for a second. Because you guys feel like you're kind of maybe wasting your ammo a little bit from the angle you're throwing at. So just wait until they kind of blob up a little bit more. That just about... There. Yeah, unload. The enemy general there we go. Dead. Cav, let's start getting you guys on over this way. We're going to bring you on out of the fortification. Bring you on over that way. Because I need you to try and deal with those skirmishers. They've got like one, two, three, four? Yeah, four. I see four skirmishers. So I'll have to have my cab try and go deal with you guys. Slingers are still doing their thing. I'm going to wait until you guys are fully engaged in melee here. Then I can start bringing you guys down and around and out. At the moment, they are focusing primarily just around here. So I should be good to bring you guys back at this way. Let's like have you guys go this way. You guys go this way. And then honestly, I'm probably going to bring you guys over here to just kind of support them in the back line. If we can focus them into just one location, that would be perfect. So I guess if you guys can run over that way, you guys go over this way. Focus those skirmishers down. Get my Peltis and everybody in here. Blob them up right around here and fully surround them. Uh, and then you guys, I want to see if we can find that one guy that had the 300 units. Where is he? So I want you guys to focus him down. I don't see him. Hmm. Okay. If that's the case, I'm going to have you guys just kind of line on up back here. Might be a better angle. Oh, actually... Because of how they're attacking us, you guys, I'm going to have you go back here. I'm actually going to have my Peltus make their way on over here. Get you guys out of the city. Out of the fortification. Like, you guys go there. These guys go here. They are fully committing to this one spot, so I can probably just surround them. Get my Peltus to unload on them in the back. I don't see that one unit of 300 guys. I think he's just in the thick of things. Oh, no, there he is. He's right there. So if I can kill you, we should have a pretty good chance here. These guys are taking a bit of damage. How much? How many kills have you gotten so far? About 50 each. Not the worst. Okay. Let's do it. I'll try and have you guys kind of casually walk on over here. Casually walk on that way. I want you guys to get back into the fight to that. Infantry, you guys are trying to line up here. Slingers, I'll have you kind of line up here. They are kind of spreading out a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Let my calf kind of group on up over, over here. 
kind of wait until we see what they're doing with these guys, because I might have to kind of cycle charge into you dudes. Because the moment this is holding well, you're struggling a little bit more than I would like. And I don't know why you've actually taken so much damage. You've got the barricade. Don't tell me you're now actually taking damage from all the fire. Uh, what the hell is this unit doing? Why are you in single file? Our general is under I feel attack. like this is going to make it very easy to kill this unit. Like, just charge in and attack it, because they're single file... They have nothing. Like, there's no formation here, guys. What are you doing? You guys kind of run on over this way. Oh, these guys actually are attacking us. Slingers, let's kind of move you guys up here. That is taking decent amount of damage. Now, you just keep them nearby the towers, and they still take a decent amount. So you guys kind of go there. This unit is slowly dying. Here we go. Slingers, I'm gonna try and have you guys go right about there. Are they doing the same thing again? Or is that unit shattered? No, that, sh that unit is shattered. Okay. You guys line up, shoot this unit, and then this is the guy with 300. So we'll have to try and focus him down with some skirmishers. Uh, you guys. I'm going to have you... Let's have you guys kind of start attacking these guys over here. Start trying to flank them there. Cav, line up here. Uh, slingers, again, focus this unit first. Break that guy. Then I think what we'll do, shoot this unit as much as possible, try and kill as many of them as we can, and then we'll surround them after that. So actually, you guys maybe kind of hold off for now. I don't need to have you specifically in melee combat just yet. We'll wait until my slingers are out of ammo for that. Okay, so this guy is now taking quite a bit of damage. He's also about half of his unit. He's running into everybody now, so I can't actually target him all that easily. Slingers still have a bit more ammo, so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Let you guys use up all you have to try and kill that guy. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys, how many kills do you guys get? Almost about 100 each. Uh, these guys here, 30. Oh, geez, yeah. 235, 172, 188. These guys have gotten a couple kills here and there. Cav really haven't done much today. But no, you guys... Where is he? He's at 130 out of 300. Almost there. As soon as you guys are out of ammo, I think I might just have you generically shoot whoever you want until you're out of ammo. He's just in a blob right now. So let's have you guys use up the rest of your ammo, then we'll start throwing in the rest of my infantry. Alrighty, now for the fun. You guys kind of running over here. You guys kind of running over here. We're going to fully surround them now. This unit here, the guy that had 300, uh, he's at 101. He's getting close. Every, practically, almost all their units are in yellow or green morale. So you guys start surrounding. There. And on this side, too. Now I'm getting all of you guys in here. This might be enough to break them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, everybody's breaking now at this point. They've got a couple guys still holding. Nope, that's everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to run these guys down to get some more experience for my cap. There we go. Heroic victory. Not bad, guys. There, that's much better. 300 losses for 3,100 kills. Nice. Absolutely thrashed that army. That was way better than the last one. Because if I can get you guys to focus on one location, I can do a lot of damage to you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now that I know that they have that one unit type that is very difficult to deal with uh, in melee, and uh, provide the morale bonus... I can just focus it down with skirmishers, and it works out wonderfully. So there we go. It is going to be winter next turn, so I don't think I'm going to be able to push in, actually, to the city. But I've now taken out two to three armies in their northern provinces. Two to three full-stack armies, and so it should be a lot easier for us to push into Patavium with these guys. We're just going to have to wait out the winter to properly make our move. <laughs> yes, they took the bait. So... Almost 6,000 guys are about to be fucking sunk and given over as tribute to Poseidon. So let's do this. This should be the last thing we should do for today. It should be pretty quick, I'm assuming, as these should all be transport. Oh, yep, everybody's a transport ship. So not only do I get to destroy the garrison, but also the uh, navy inside. Oh, it's going to be great. I uh, Rome 2 right now is the best example of why I fucking miss naval battles. They can be a bit glitchy, but at times, like, stuff like this... Oh, it's so fun. It is so fun to lure them out of the, uh, the city. 
and absolutely thrash them on the open sea. So I'll have you guys uh, up there, get you guys just up and ready right there, because we're just going to rush them. These are just transport ships, so we're going to absolutely destroy them. I'll bring my one ship in, so you guys just kind of move on in. Move on in there, and you kind of go about here. They got reinforcements, but I don't care. I'm about to just massacre these poor fools. For some reason, Rome just wants to be dominated today, where I, yeah, 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 I've took me ships, but I've got more. Because I have absolutely destroyed them today. They've had the two fort battles, where they got wrecked pretty badly. Then we're having this, where I think this is actually we are losing worse. Ground. How the fuck are we losing ground? What are you on about, man? How are we losing ground? They have done nothing to us just yet. You guys keep making your way on over there. Because as soon as we hit these vessels, they just instantly sink. The transport ships are so weak that it is extremely easy for me to destroy this entire navy. Like, you go there, you go there. Like, we'll see that balance of power go up pretty damn quickly. As soon as my guys start getting in here. The only thing I have to worry about is if you guys are going to try and uh, actually board us. If you guys board us, then I have to care. But for the most part, I shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Oh, one of you guys is breaking. Okay, so that's not going exactly how I want. Some of you guys are getting a little stupid. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys need to and hit that guy there. You guys have hit that guy there. Make your way on over here. So yeah, some guys are being stupid. You guys are here. Yeah, because as soon as there's a ton of you in one spot, you kind of get a little stupid. So you guys can come out here, because this entire navy is already almost destroyed. Okay, you guys are trying to board a little bit more than I'd like. Can you turn around that way? Actually, you're almost in the perfect position for that. You guys go back here. You, row hard, and you'll be able to easily sink that vessel. You guys go for that one. Those guys are sinking. That vessel should be sunk. Go there. Go there. There's a couple of guys still left. You guys there. There are a lot of you guys. Let's see. You come down this way. You this way and this way. You three. Start turning around and focusing on these guys. I just hear so many crashing sounds. Like this entire... Everything over here is almost dead. You need to hit them there. You try and hit them there as well, maybe. And then I need somebody over here to help out with this guy. Because you're about to be sunk with my general here. Uh, yep, there we go. Because yeah, as soon as you guys get freed, now we just need to focus on this one guy. Then probably reform and go for those guys. You guys might actually destroy them before I get my fleet back over here. So like, you guys are trying. Keep trying to get in there. Ooh, you're on fire. You're being boarded now. So we will lose a little bit of my navy. Just a little bit. Like, you guys make your way over there. Try and go there. Yeah, they're boarding us. Need to hit this guy. Get on in over here. You guys go there and there. We're almost to the point where I'm expecting them to kind of start breaking as I've taken out so many of their ships at this point. Like, there goes that. Oh, that vessel survived. If you can board the ram that guy. Get that guy there. Oh, can you... Inch forward, damn you. There, hit that guy. Hit this guy. There's just a couple of you left. That guy. That, there we go. That's what I needed. There we go. Hero of victory. I did lose a couple ships. I lost two. I lost 350 guys to kill 52,500. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I lost three ships. I didn't see that one on the bottom. So now, Syracuse should just be mine, actually. Honestly, at this point here. Because yeah, you guys, I'm going to enslave all these guys. And the city should just be mine now. Because everything died. Is it? Or is I still blockading? Okay, technically I'm still blockading. I'll have to assault it properly next turn. 
or not. You guys actually want to fight me again. Okay. Um, I'm going to save this for the next video. This is a bit too long now. Um, so I'll end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any thoughts you have on it in general. So I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this. But this is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.